Hello beautiful people of the Philippines and around the world. This is Momo. <laughs> Nana. Nini. <laughs> How old are you? 23. 23 years young. Single? Of course. Ready to mingle? Of course. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ina from Physics Department. Single? Yeah. Ready to mingle? Ayo! Ayo! Hindi na makapagalita. Shout out pala sa mga, we're all graduates of UP. UP Baguio, UP, Baguio. UP Cebu, and UP Cebu. So yeah, shout out to mga Isko and Iska, Iska. mga UPN. Yeah, Isko, scholar ng bayan. Okay, since your introduction is all about your department, so my question will be about your department. <laughs> okay. okay, so how does it feel like to be a biomedical student in NSYSU? Education fair palaga. And as why as you my gang kapa supporta yun na tong ano vlog namin. Hmm, exciting. As someone with a bio biology background and not really that in depth with cancer research, and now I'm exposed to cancer research and um, deeper molecular biology. It's interesting and fun. So what is the um, lesson or? something that is really very significant to you when you entered biomedical science? I think my working environment. Okay. Right. I don't know, it really matters to me that I go al lo along really well with my lab mates. Yeah. Lab mates and then also the professors. My advisor is really mm -hmm. also good. It makes, um, although biomedical science is a really hard field, mm -hmm. but you know, being with them, here. Yeah. It's fun. I don't know, it's fun. Learning is fun. Okay, last question. Studying is fun. <laughs> last question is not. What inspires you in your studies? Shempre. Appearance. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Mama Papa. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, of course, aside from parents, who are also ever supportive, but I'm also ambitious myself. Mm -hmm. So, also me, and I'm also inspired and inspiring myself. No, not really. I just really want this field. Okay. Um, but 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 my needs. Yeah. <laughs> so, because just, you told me a while ago that biomedical science is quite a difficult field. Oh yes, it is. Okay, next. Let's go to Ina. Okay, let's go to Ina. Same question, Ian. So. <laughs> what makes um, physics interesting here? Studying physics mm. interesting here in Thailand. And how pala yung second year? No, 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 what I am doing now is different from what I did when I was undergraduate in the Philippines. So, parang new, new field, as new opportunities, new knowledge, new experiences. Ganun. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it difficult for a Filipino student to take physics here? Actually, no, because there's wow. a lot of <laughs> Because of the environment, mm -hmm. it's not really that difficult because you get a lot of support, especially in my laboratory because um, a lot of international students are from the Philippines. So <laughs> you can get that um, emotional and even yun, yung um, friends mo sila so they can support you. Sa, <laughs> ano <tawag laughs> yung environment is very supportive. <laughs> Ano, yung presence of Filipino friends in the Department of Physics itself makes the in, uh, no, environment ano, <laughs> feel lighter. Okay, thanks. So, have you like experienced being in a very difficult or challenging situation while 
Look at the cost. Siguro adjustments. Pero along the way, ano, it will it became easier. No? Kasi siguro yun nga a lot of Filipino friends. Have you experienced quarter life crisis? Ah uh, yes. Okay. So, uh, well, I'm not really sure if it's quarter life crisis, but for me, I have a different dream. Mm -hmm. I'm not really into research initially since I was a kid. I have this one goal. I ko na sabihin ano chara. Okay. But then circumstances didn't let me. So and also I took, of course, I took up biology in, in a very good research university. So along the way, I fell in love with research. I always said, oh. It, Loving research is not bad. Like, okay, this is my first love, my dream. But then I also fell in love with research. And then, since um, this one didn't happen, and somehow, somehow the universe conspires me to be here, because it's so easy that I, everything's really went smoothly from the application to the flight ticket to here, even the quarantine. It was so easy. It was like it feels like the universe is telling me you're here, you're and you're not there. So. Kind of heartbreaking because you know after I graduate, I feel like lost. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just, uh, I don't know, just working here, working there, and and then COVID, ha COVID happened. So all the more I'm down because oh no, my future. I don't know where I'm going. And then suddenly there's an open application, and then I just applied half-heartedly because I really don't. This is not my dream. This is not really my goal. So I just applied half-heartedly, and I was just thinking. Okay, if I'm here, then I'm here, and then yes, I'm really here. So, yeah. Did you regret it? No, I actually love every second of it. Mm -hmm. It was like, well, I first got the um, acceptance letter or the this in the either website, and they said, oh, you got accepted. It's like oh, I can't believe it. Wow, wow! Like really, I just applied half-heartedly, and then it was given to me. While well, the other one, I really tried my heart, my best, and then it could not. Wow, the universe has its own way of telling <laughs> guys. So now, piliti ng ayaw, ganon. <laughs> Kung hindi para sa hindi ka para, para, para sa yo. Give up mo na guys, let it go. So if it's for you, it will really come easy. So far, that's what I've learned. At so, 23. So can you say that you have already overcome part of life, guys? Ah, well, not really. I don't think it's not really that yet. Because. I think quarterly life crisis also involves financial <laughs> financial problems. Okay. I, I think I'm still going through it because mm -hmm. you know I just graduated and then I proceed to masters. Mm -hmm. Basically, I don't have my own money okay. yet. Well, I do have now, mm -hmm. but it's not enough. Mm -hmm. If you if if I, if I would just compare myself to um, my high school classmates when they already have stable job, and me, I'm just like hmm, still relying on an allowance. I think I'm still going through there, but at least um, my heart somehow and my mind is convinced that maybe I am in this field. What satisfies you or what makes you happy? Everything? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> so far I've been happy with everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thesis is hard, the research is hard. I don't have that good results, but I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just happy here. I'm ha I don't know, I'm just contented. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. With what you have. Right? With what I have, yes. Not with the money though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be honest. It's good to know that um, even if you say that you're not really happy, you, have, you haven't overcome part of your life crisis, but you are currently happy and satisfied and contented oh, with what you actually yes. have right now. Okay, thank you for that, um, Nana. <laughs> So, let's go to Nini. So, the same question, Nini. Um, have you experienced part of life crisis? Siguro yung crisis na mainly na na-experience ko, parang patulad ng na-mention ni Jo, yung parang yung problem ko ay financial, yung financial freedom. Wala ako noon dito kasi although yung financial aids na natatanggap ay sobrang enough naman sustain yung student life natin. Pero syempre, 
Siyempre, yung problem, you cannot give give money to your so, family yeah, yeah. yet. Because <laughs> it's enough for you oh, to live here. Yun yeah. yung crisis siguro na kinakaharap. Mm. You see your other classmates na have money ha, na yeah, na. Ha, They have stable jobs and then they can give back to, to their, their parents. Tapos sa'yo. Very wow. Filipino. <laughs> Very Asian. Very Asian. Kasi <laughs> talaga ganun na Pinoy, no? Kailangan talaga natin no, magbigay yeah. sa ating family. So how do you overcome it or how do you um, fight or yeah? Siguro ano din yung <laughs> yung feeling mo naman kapag nag-succeed ka na sa ay parang naging comfortable ka na sa field na to or mm-hmm. may may magiging stable job ka din na patutunguhan after getting this degree. So, so what's your plan after getting your degree? Yeah. Yun nga. Your <laughs> mas- uh, after masters. masters. Yeah. Ayoko majinx charot. Yeah. Yun nga. Eh. I'm okay. so loud. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if there's an opportunity yeah. to proceed to a, a to a doctoral study or why not, right? With a scholarship and all, why not? Same with you. Okay. After patient. Minyo na charot. Okay. <laughs> are we still? Here? Are we still? Are we still in, in, acad- <laughs> in the academy? Yeah. Are you planning to stay in the academy or no? We're not closing the doors. What? <laughs> yes. Oh, showbiz, the showbiz. Your answer. Why the green showbiz? Your answer. I mean, well, yeah. I'm not closing the doors. Okay. It's also nice to have your own research team. Mm. Ay, in my in my in my field. So you're open to any like industry or? Ah yes yes. Or, or bi- biomedical is very ano parang ang daming opportunities in, in the industry and also in the academy. So Ian, what inspires you today? What inspires me? My friends. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Unpeke naman nun. Ngayon lang tayo nagkita kita. After how many months? Unpeke naman nun. A joke lang. Mahal ka Ikaw yun ha. Kaya ko pala yun. Ikaw yung friend ko na. Na. Inspire on me. Okay, so to end this vlog, what is your message for all of those graduates that want to want to um, study or take up their answers. If there is really an opportunity, go for it. Because no man, if an opportunity won't be given to you if, if you don't, if it's not for you. So, yeah. If there is an opportunity and then kaya, you know, financially, my support, kaya, go for it. Ano sasabihin ko sa younger self ko na? <laughs> Sige. Yeah, ano ang sasabihin mo sa younger self siguro, mo dati? Kung ako dati, siguro, ang dami kong doubt siguro sa sarili ko na to. Hindi naman ako matalino para yeah, mag-master. True, true. Pero sa state ko ngayon, parang hindi kailangan na matalino ka. Um, siguro, maging teachable ka lang. Or yes. Maging, ano, ano yun? Yung hardworking? Ano Uh-oh. ba yung dedic- Dedicated. 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 Oh. Committed ka sa ano. Oh, committed ka. Chosen mo na field. Mm-hmm. And of course, syempre, you really have to choose the field that you really want. Mm-hmm. Not yeah, just yeah. because, ano, ay, ito na lang, ito oh, na ito lang. Yung mahirap, mahirap. Mm-hmm. Ito, yung easier one. Ito, marami itong pera dito. Wala, guys. <laughs> Ilaka di. <laughs> True. Just so you know. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, kung hindi ko yung tatahakan yung landas, make sure Research? na... Research? Hindi kayo mukhang pera, yun. <laughs> Kasi research, research. um... Hmm, mm, walang pera. Wala siyang pera. At Science mahirap siya is kapag, hard. Yeah, mahirap siya kapag ayaw mo talaga yung ginagawa mo. Yes. If it's not really, ano, what your heart wants. Definitely. Kasi yan yung mag-fuel sa'yo eh. To... You don't... Padayon. <laughs> yeah, I really agree with Ina saying you don't really have to be smart to proceed. As long as if, if you want something, of course you would try your best to achieve it. Mm. So, yeah. so that's the most important thing. Okay, guys, I think I'm that's bo- 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 it bo- bo- for today. <laughs> thank you so much, Nana and Nini. So thank you guys for watching my channel, and don't forget to. Alam nyo ba yung ano? Like, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment 
share, and subscribe. subscribe. Always remember that you are deeply loved. So just keep on smiling. Stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.